I'm probably quite prejudiced in my, my sort of views about management within any field, but for me it's 99% communication. Um, but obviously client, customer service, you know, again, it, it's interesting, isn't it, that that group I described to you from Hungary waited until the end of their course. Yeah, that was kind of too late to find out they had a problem. Much too late. Yeah. Uh, they'd eaten the roast beef and they hadn't liked it, etc., etc., etc. Uh, much too late. And, but and another example of this kind of thing, uh, another group came to see me, uh, and they said, we want another teacher. And this was uh, mid-course, which, now this is a, an academic year, nine months. And I said, oh, and I was really surprised because I knew that teacher well, and a very nice guy and a very good teacher. And I said, well, uh, are you not getting on with the teacher? And they said, oh, no, he's great. We go out for drinks with him. You know, we're all very friendly. I, oh. I said, do you feel that you're not learning? Oh, no, no, we're learning. It's really good. Yeah. So what do you think the problem was? They, they liked him, and they really thought they were learning, but they wanted another teacher. Maybe the fact that they were getting on so well with them, they didn't, they didn't feel that he was pushing them? That's a logical idea, actually, yeah. In fact, it wasn't the case. The, well, the problem was that uh, they felt his lessons were the same all the time. You know, they, and they actually described it as, oh, he starts off with a five-minute warmer, you know, we do, and, blah, blah, blah. and then we, you know, and there's a text, and we take the grammar out of the text, and then we put it in, and then we practice it, and, you know, it's just the same every day. Um, but it's interesting, isn't it? They, they were very happy with their teacher, and they were very happy with their learning, but there was something else. Now, the reason I found out about that early uh, was because we had set up systems by which we really actively encouraged people to come along and talk about things. You know, we had surveys, we did all sorts of things, just trying to check that their roast beef was cooked as they like it, yeah, not leaving it so late. So this is the kind of thing we took about. Now, with that teacher, I just I told him what had happened. I said, they, they love you as a person, and they, they, they really are very pleased with how they're learning, but they just want a bit of a change. So uh, I uh, suggested a different approach to teaching. And he was shocked. He said, but that's not the four-week course. That's not how you teach. Um, and I said, it doesn't matter. Just go and do it. And so he did. He went and did it for a while. The students were kind of, wow, this is different. And then they were happy. Uh, and they came and see me. Uh, well, I actively sought them out a little while later. And uh, they said, no, it's great. It's great. Oh, it's really, it's really different. Don't understand a word he's saying, but it's really good. You know. Um, I suggested a, a lecture mode. You know, just go in and give them a few lectures for a few minutes each day. See what they can you know, And tell them it's listening practice. <laughs> well, I think I may have started something because it's called live listening now and it's all the rage and all the mode and, you know, where I work, we all do it. <laughs> it's great. Um, but, you know, again, just to give a little idea here. I'm sort of rushing along a little bit because there... Uh, you know, there was actually one other thing I said, which I'm not sure to put it in there or in there, but it's this. This is something I thought you could do for yourselves briefly. Uh, have you heard of SWOT analysis? Um, so we've got strengths, weaknesses, and the other one? Opportunities and threats. Okay. Um, have you ever considered, I mean, businesses do this, don't they? Yeah. Uh, have you come across the terms rifle and shotgun? Mm. Rifle, it's focused, it's really aimed. Shotgun, bam, goes everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Do you work for a school which is really focused on maybe a speciality, maybe a real skill that you have, or is it shotgun, we'll do everything and anything? Shoot from the hip. Shoot from the hip. <laughs> That's even nicer. Uh, because where I work, I would say we're shotgun, actually. Um, we like to think we're rifles, but, you know, somebody phones up and says, can you do this? Yep, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we do it. Um, but maybe a way in which you might not have used this is on yourselves. Yeah? And getting your teachers to do it on themselves. So... Just take a minute, and you don't have to talk about anything you don't want to talk about, but um, what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, what are your opportunities, and what are your threats, in a professional manner, I mean. Yeah? So again, a little opportunity to have a chat together. Yeah? You can apply it to your whole professional life, or your teaching skills, or whatever you like, yeah? but you don't have to say anything you don't want to say.